I thank you all for tuning in and logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour. Right here on Illuminati Radio, I am your host, I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. If you are new to this page, channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I drop this breaking news on you. Hit that like button if you're enjoying this content. Um, don't forget, um, this, oh, this is a special request video. I would like to thank you, Kevin McCoy. For sending me the donation for this video. Thank you, Brother Kevin McCoy. And if you all have any special request videos that you want me to do, a celebrity you want me to expose, or a YouTuber, or if you have a topic that you need me to expound some understanding on, for you and do a video on that, it's very easy. A small donation of five dollars. Donation link is in the description box below. And I'm looking into Montel Williams and this come to find out that this man have not had any sacrifices whatsoever. This man have not had any sacrifices whatsoever. Let's see, he started his show back in 1991. 1991 to um, 2000 and I believe it's uh, 2009. So we have his show started in two, two, uh, 1991 to 2009 is when his show ended. 2009, so we have, let me see, 2009, that, that right there is completion. Okay, so that completes one saga of the man's life. You know what I'm saying? But I've been I'm I was looking and I was doing my research and this man have not come up with any sacrifices. The only thing I can think of with this man here is I know he had a stroke, a very rare stroke. That's don't have nothing to do with a sacrifice. But what's very interesting to me here is number one, he um I believe it was in uh uh, Camilla Harris, you know what I'm saying, he was reported dating Camilla Harris, uh, you know what I'm saying, that, and not only that, you know what I'm saying, that doesn't have nothing to do with his, his fame or anything like that, but um, I, I just had to throw that in there, he was reporting dating Camilla Harris, and what's very interesting is, after his stint as a talk show host, which what what made him big, you know what I'm saying, that's a long stint as a talk show host, he ended out, you know what I'm saying, becoming an advocate for cannabis. And he was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. Now, I'm not going to believe that he was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. Sclerosis. I think that is what the elites told him to say. You know what I'm saying? That is the 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 second stint of his life is to you know what I'm saying is the cannabis field and to be diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. To anybody who is diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, just listen to the name. Listen to the name. Multiple sclerosis. Listen to the name. Anything that, you know what I'm saying, gets into your body and causes your body to do things like that, it is spirits. Let me tell you like this. If you're suffering from depression, you're suffering from a spirit. You know what I'm saying? That's demonic possession. If you're suffering from, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, depression, you know what I'm saying, bipolar. That's also another form of demonic possession. You know what I'm saying? Multiple sclerosis. There is no cure for multiple sclerosis except the most high. You know what I'm saying? Any type of these diseases that they got out there, the only cure it is for it is the most high. And you know what I'm saying? And the reason why I say this is a big uh Monte Williams, you know what I'm saying, he's he's due for a sacrifice pretty soon. So, you know what I'm saying? I won't be too surprised if you know what I'm saying in the near future, you know what I'm saying, 
something, you know what I'm saying, one of his family members get knocked off because he's really due for a sacrifice. He ain't had one since 1991. 1991. In reverse, that's 19. 19 represents the existence of God. Yes. So his show started back in 1991, and his show ended in 2009. You know what I'm saying? Nine represents the existence of God. So, so what is is this this man? You know what I'm saying?'s agenda? Get closer to God, because if you because they said that cannabis, you know what I'm saying? It heals. He started his own cannabis company. You know what I'm saying? Selling CBD oils and, and such things of that nature. But we must understand that, you know what I'm saying, whether you smoke cannabis or you put cannabis on your body, that's the improper use of of, of, of marijuana. That's the improper use. Because see, marijuana is a medicine. No matter how you put it, marijuana is a medicine. I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you an example. Would you take um let me see, let me see, what, what could I do? What could I do? Would you take um would you take cough syrup, dry it out, you know what I'm saying, and and, and soak it up and roll it in a blunt and smoke it? I'm, I'm gonna say that I'm, gonna say, I'm, I'm getting, I'm going some of this. Would you take cough syrup? You know what I'm saying? Dry that cough syrup out, or or pour that cough syrup on tobacco. Well, yeah, to like that. Would you take some cough syrup and pour that cough syrup on some tobacco, and then put that tobacco in a blunt and roll the blunt up and smoke it? Would you do that? I'm asking all you weed smokers out there. Would you do that? You probably gonna say no, and why won't you do that? Because cough syrup is a medicine. That's probably what you're gonna say, right? Well, that's what herb. That's what marijuana is. Marijuana is a medicine. Nothing is supposed to be put in your lungs. Marijuana is not supposed to be rubbed on you as an oil or a lotion. It's supposed to be boiled and drank like a tea. That's what marijuana. That's the type, of, that's what marijuana is supposed to be used for, as an herb. It's supposed to be boiled and drank like a tea. So, this man got himself a CBD company. Is this the, this is the main, this is the main objective of his, of his, um, existence now? To, you know what I'm saying, Mike Tyson got a, 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 a cannabis company. You know what I'm saying? What is this? This is the new age now? Now is we going to, you know what I'm saying, influence, you know what I'm saying, big, be big, big influencers to cause people to smoke weed so that they can get closer to Lucifer instead of the Most High? Because you notice everybody going into the cannabis field, everybody trying to get their medicinal license, everybody trying to get their, you know what I'm saying, um, uh, a weed license. And sell marijuana and smoke marijuana. Let me tell you something. When you do this, you inhabit your body, your temple with demons. You inhabit your temple with spirits. And that's the agenda. You know what I'm saying? Because if everybody's temple is inhabited with spirits and demons, guess what? Satan is in control of you. You know what I'm saying? But this man ain't had no sacrifices. He haven't had any sacrifices. I'm concerned with that. Because that's unheard of for a person, you know what I'm saying, to start his career, you know what I'm saying, as early as 1991 and have a long career without any sacrifices. So what I'm saying is, is Monte Williams got a sacrifice coming up and he got a, it's another big agenda for Monte Williams. And you know what I'm saying, Kevin McCoy, you said what his rise and fall, the man never fell. That's my concern. The man never fell. You know what I'm saying? He never fell. He rose, but he never fell. Because he's still going. 
even with multiple sclerosis. And I think that multiple sclerosis thing is just a ploy on words. The same way Magic Johnson, so-called, supposed to have AIDS. Magic Johnson didn't have AIDS. That was a play on words. That was a play, you know what I'm saying, that was used for Magic Johnson. And I think multiple sclerosis is another play that's used on Montel Williams just to push his cannabis to people. That's what this is. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, they want to thank you Kevin McCoy for sending me the donation for this video. If you all have any questions, or, I mean, if you all have any uh, uh, videos that you, uh, news reports or uh, celebrities you want me to do a video on or a social media personality you want me to do a news report on or, you know what I'm saying, or if you have a topic you want me to expound on to give you understanding on, very easy, a small donation of $5. The donation link is in the description box below. I want to thank you all for tuning in and logging on to another episode of Luminati News Hour. Right here on Luminati Radio, I'm your host, I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. If you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop this breaking news on you. Hit that like button if you're enjoying this content. Till next time, stay tuned. God bless you.